Okay, this is a short tutorial on how to fill out your IRB form for Trinity University, specifically for um, survey research for this class, social research design. So there's a link on T-Learn to this Trinity University IRB approval request. And what you need to do is you need to pick one student um, in your project who's going to be the main investigator. Say that is Katie Brown, right? And that person is going to be the main contact person for this project. You also need to write in the name of your instructor or research mentor. You can put either myself or Dr. Kaufman. I think it'd be easier to put um, me since I'm actually on the IRB. You need to put the, the name of the class, right? And so this should be the name of the lecture class. And then also list all of the other contributors and, and um, collaborators in your project. You need to give your project a title. And don't stress out about this, but make it very clear and very connected to what you're actually doing. So, right, so a survey of homeless individuals in the park, right? The more descriptive, um, the better. Don't agonize over it, but it should have a clear and distinct title. The project start date, ideally, is a week from when your proposal is turned in. Um, for proposals that are exempt from review, you can make it um, the day that your proposal is turned in, right? So we would want to put it um, as a week past when the proposal is due, which I think would be like the 17th. And the project will be over by the end of the semester, right? So when IRB asks for a brief description of your project, they're not interested necessarily in your research question, and they're very uninterested in your theory. What they want to know is what kind of data will you be collecting? And so for this, you should just write about the survey. Don't write about the rest of your project, right? So you're just going to be telling them, um, we will be surveying, um, and try to say about how many people. So we'll be surveying 85 people. And then who those people are homeless individuals living in shelters in San Antonio, right? They'll want to know a little bit about what kinds of questions you'll be asking them. We will be asking them questions about X, Y, and Z, right? And that's basically it. They want to know, like, who is it that you're going to be talking to or surveying? Uh, you might want to leave, talk about whether or not the surveys are going to be anonymous or confidential, but that's what they want to know. They want to know how many people, who are they, what kinds of questions will you be asking them. You might mention your broader research question, but really these are the details they deeply care about because this is how they can make a decision about whether or not your project is ethical or not. So this is a really important part. If you're doing a survey, your answer to all of these questions is yes, right? So yes, your data will be gathered via survey, questionnaire, or interview only. Yes, your data will not be collected from vulnerable populations. Um, if we have told you that you're using a vulnerable population for your survey, then we need to walk you through this form um, separately. But in the case of this class this year, this is not an issue. It will not be possible to identify research subjects from the data collected. And the data questions will not address sensitive issues, right? So yes to all four questions. If you notice, it says here, if you answered yes to all of the statements above, your project is exempt from IRB review. What this means is you don't have to fill out the rest of the form. You can just go down and hit submit. And it also means that if your project is exempt, you can begin data collection ASAP. So you do not need to wait for IRB approval for most survey research here at Trinity University. Right. So this is really important that you, you don't necessarily have to wait. You, all you can do is submit this and then once we approve your project, you can start collecting your survey.